My name is Jose Ramirez and I am in 11th grade, entering 12. Uh, I would say the pandemic affected me in, uh, more socially than ever, than anything actually, because school was, um, it was kind of my universe. That's where I would talk to a lot of people. It's my main area for communication outside of my family. That's where I see people I, I love, people I hate, just anyone there I would talk to. And that whole area is like just completely disconnected. I only have my, um, my family to talk to. I would say the silver lining for me is that I get to stay here at home. Um, back when I was in school, I would focus a lot of my time doing my work, studying, making videos, anything that my teachers asked me of and that would really separate me from my family. I feel like I feel like this period has connected us as a, as a unit together and um, it connected me a lot with my dad who I haven't seen in a long time because him and I would be like ghosts living in the same house. He would wake up really early and come back late, tired, and so I wouldn't be able to talk to him and I would do much the same. Now we actually get time to chat, converse. I got to meet my dad again. To keep myself busy, that's I, that's one of the things that have been troubling the most. Sometimes I get fed up with the way my apartment looks up and I start fixing everything, washing dishes. Sometimes I play with my instruments. I have a guitar and a mandolin and I'm mostly using the guitar right now because sometimes you just get bored. I remember when it was happening here in Van Nuys. My parent, my mom specifically, she didn't really care about the curfew and she wanted to keep walking the day prior before the, the thing. And then she saw on the news that it was actually happening so she completely restricted access outside of the apartment. And I think the curfew was, was knocked all the way down to 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. we weren't able to go outside. And I remember I really wanted to check what happened, like the aftermath. Uh, I liked, I, I think, I like to think of myself as someone who likes Van Nuys. I'm, I think Van Nuys is part of me in a way, because like, home connects to you. But watching Van Nuys be treated this way, it's it's devastating. It's like like a ghost town. You ever been to a ghost town? There's like there's a bunch of houses, like a city row, a bank, and it's you like to imagine what used to happen before it was abandoned. I felt like when I was walking through the streets of that area that Van Nuys had been abandoned and that area was completely graffitied over and shattered glass. I was I was watching um, people help business owners sweep up glass and clean, clear all the debris. It felt really bad. I saw the area, I saw the I saw the pharma pharmacy that was that's right next to my elementary school where I used to go. That area was boarded up and you couldn't see the, the traces of the smoke and the fire unless you were watching it live but there were still some areas that were severely charred and the fireman did a good job making sure it didn't spread. But in other areas of Venice, the streets were the streets were burned, littered with glass and trash, a lot of masks on the ground, graffiti everywhere and um, many shops were closed, boarded up, a lot of with Black Lives Matter signs and um, Latinos for Black Lives Matter.